Let's open in a word of prayer, shall we? Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for the time you give us just to uh, honor and worship you. I pray, Father, that uh, you will do just that, that you will receive um, our honor tonight, that you will receive our worship as we just praise your name, as we celebrate your birth. I thank you again, Father, for all those that are able to be here and pray you bless this evening in your name. Amen. Good evening. We have a very small sixth grade band, and it got a little smaller. Our percussionist, our one and only percussionist, is really sick this week. And so when we thought about the little drummer boy, we had no drum. And I was just going to go with that, but um, Mrs. Quinn graciously volunteered to play the drum, so we'd have a drummer girl for our drummer boy. And you know what? It doesn't matter the gender of the drummer person. It could have been anybody. I happen to think girl drummers are amazing. So here we go.
many, who was here last night for the high school, junior high? Does anybody still have your Jingle Bell app? Any Jingle Bell apps out there? Let's hear them. Okay. Feel free to jingle on Jingle Bells because a Jingle Bells without any bells is about as bad as a drummer boy without any drummers. So you're on, okay?
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of, over the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Curius was governor of Syria, And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us.
Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Luke 2, verses 8 through 12.
Well, thank you, Mrs. Miller and Mrs. Quinn, for a wonderful evening. If you haven't gone through the whole story, you just did it. Way to go. As we close tonight, I'll, I'll close in a word of prayer, and I just want to thank you again for coming. Thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Let's pray. Father God, I do thank you for today. I thank you for your son. I thank you for the time you give us just to celebrate. I pray that we will not be misdirected or uh, just turned aside from what the true meaning of the season is, that we will focus on you, Jesus. We will focus on your birth and that we will celebrate it. I thank you so much, Father, in your precious and holy name. And all God's kids said, Amen. All right.